Hello everyone, this is David. I work here at Go Engineer on the 3D scanning team. Today I'm going to show kind of a rare occurrence that may happen if you are doing an inspection plan. Uh, today we're looking at Creaform's VX Inspect software. And you can see here on the screen I've got a scan, which is the measured, and we have a reference as well, which is going to be CAD. And if I move this slightly out of the way, you can see that the origin is out here. This is normal when you bring a scan in. It's not going to be automatically oriented to the reference. But the kind of the rare occurrence here is if I right mouse click and say fit to screen, that the CAD or reference is way out here in space. This is not really desirable uh, for doing an inspection. We want to have the origin somewhere near or on the, the part itself, the reference. So you can see here it's not, and I'm going to show you how to remedy this situation. But before we do that, I'm going to further illustrate why. So I'm going to do an alignment. Uh, surface best fit and we are going to basically move the scan to the CAD out here in space. So once we do that I can go ahead and show you why this is not really desirable. So I'm going to come up here and zoom up on this CAD and scan and let's say I wanted to take a measurement between these two cylinders. So first I need to create a couple of uh, cylinders fairly quickly. Cylinder 1 and Cylinder 2 and next I can say, well, let's take a dimension between these two cylinders. So I can say for constructed and then say I want to pick cylinder number one and I'm going to pick the center of the cylinder and follow that up with picking cylinder number two center. And then I get a dimension here. Now the dimension actually is the correct value. However, it's in 3D space. This is not desirable because what we would want is to have the part aligned and take basically measurements in the in the X, Y, or Z orientation. So if I go ahead and let's say I go to a positive Z looking down. So this is the orientation and if I'm looking straight down the Z axis. So any dimension I take here, it's going to have to be 3D uh, and that's not going to really make sense going forward to the report. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and then show you how we can fix this. So first off, I'm going to actually st basically start over. And I'm going to delete these two cylinders because the cylinders don't really transfer over when I realign the part. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete these two out. And I'm going to also delete this surface best fit alignment that we did. So basically, if I zoom out again, fit the screen, we're basically starting over uh, or where we started from. So again, the scan is closer to the origin, but the CAD is way out here in space. So how we're going to fix this is I'm going to go ahead and pick on the reference here on the tree and we get a new menu. Uh, this new menu relates to the reference and things that we can do uh, with the reference file. In this case, we want to move it. So I'm going to say move CAD and I want to kind of figure out how I want this to be aligned. So what I'm going to do is actually pick on this face here and say, I want this to be the X, Y plane. Change the orientation of the Z axis. You can see how it's kind of pointing down uh, I want that to go up into the part, so I'm going to go ahead and click this flip button here. And now the z-axis is going into the part, and we just need to do a couple more constraints here. So on this, I'm going to use this face here to say I want this to be aligned normal to the x-axis. So again, if I rotate this out of the way, you can see that the x-axis is going in the, to the right of that CAD face. And then the last thing I need to do is just for position, is I'm going to pick on the edge of this cylinder here and say I want that to be the origin of the X. So now basically the origin is on that face and we are aligned uh, aligned to the part. So I'm going to say OK to that. And now I need to re-establish a new alignment using the scan to CAD. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new alignment and just accept the align. Here, say align. It's again moving the scan to the CAD. And now we are aligned as well as being aligned to the origin. So now, if I go ahead and take those same measurements, we'll see here. Again, I'll create a couple cylinders. Cylinder here, cylinder here. And now do a distance between these cylinders. And I'm going to say I want to do a constructed method. Pick on cylinder one, again the center. Cylinder 2, the center, and now I get that measurement again, and it does default back to 3D space. However, I can change it because in this case, since it's aligned, 
the X and the 3D space are the same. So anything that's checked here is going to be passed along to the report. So I'm going to uncheck 3D and then check the X dimension. So I'm going to pull this up, for example, and then we can kind of get a normal shot of what that looks like currently oriented in the proper orientation and say OK. So that's about it for this video. I just wanted to illustrate sometimes when you have an occurrence where the CAD or reference is way out in space that instead of going back to the original CAD or asking another engineer designer, hey, can you move this in CAD and give it back to me? There are means to remedy that situation here, CreaForms VX Inspect software. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.